The speaking test is 20 minutes. There are 8 tasks in speaking test. Please try your best to complete each task. I read a local paper daily. In a small community it's the best way to get local news. My local paper is online but I find it easier to look at it in print form. I often miss small items of interest online. I also truly enjoy the experience of a cup of coffee and a leisurely perusal as a way to start my day. Hello Roger, I heard you are looking for a personal trainer. I have some advice for you. You know the oxygen gym near the police station right? That gym has a perfect personal trainer. The first quality that a trainer should have is calmness. Every individual is different. Each one needs a different pace to pick up techniques and adapt them. I have hired a trainer from oxygen gym and that guy is a strategic thinker. A strategic thinker possesses strong business acumen and has a good grasp of how the training process directly affects the business. So if you ask me for advice I will definitely suggest you go to the Oxygen Gym and ask for a personal trainer, 
They really have great trainers. The trainers are really obedient and never make an excuse, they are never late. Also, you will get trainers at a very low cost and even home service is available, as you don't have any vehicle you can go for home service. They also ask you to take interview of trainers you are interested in. And the most thing, money, oxygen gym gives you an advantage that if you are not satisfied with the work of your trainer then you can file a complaint against him, her, and you can take your money back. This incident happened almost six years back in Ontario. My friend and I were planning to cook something, but we ran out of cooking gas. It was around 8 o'clock at the night. By the time we reached outside our apartment, we were famished. We already knew the nearby restaurants, so we're debating where to go. As we walked out, we walked out to Main Street, we saw a new restaurant. There were not many people that we could see from outside, so we thought let's jump in here. The waiters and restaurant manager were very courteous. We were welcomed and served well. As we were starving, we ordered more than we normally do. Appetizers, 2-3 to three curry, grilled chicken with roasted potatoes, and desserts. We noticed that when they were taking the order, they were thinking a little, making eye contact between them, and confirming twice. The food was served hot. We ate like pigs till our souls were satisfied. The food was delicious. We called the manager and told him how badly we wanted to eat that night. Fortunately, I met my old class teacher in that restaurant, she was very surprised to see me and blessed me. We also clicked some pictures with her and we had dinner together. So, it was a memorable moment for me.
In the above picture, there are a number of people who are at a subway station to travel on the metro train. There is a girl with a ponytail. In front of the girl, there is a man with a phone. That man has a little long hair and is holding a bag on his backside. At a distance, there is another man with a black suitcase who is heading toward the train. The bullet train is blue with silver color lines and an orange color design, and it has a logo on it. An interesting logo with a name called Eurostar. There is even a passenger wearing a white t shirt along with black pants holding two bags, and he is very near to the train. At a distance, there are three people standing and talking to each other by holding their bags. There is even a clock. People who don't have a mobile phone or watch will take the help of that clock to know the time. The train will leave the station after some time to its respective destination. In the above picture, the man with the white t shirt and black pants will enter the train first as he is very near to the train. It might happen some people who are at a distance from the train will miss it and will wait for another train to come in order to reach their respective destination. After entering the train, people will keep their respective suitcases and will take their respective seats. It might be possible that people who haven't locked their suitcase will lose some things inside it. It might be possible that all the people will not find seats to sit on the train and will have to stand for their entire journey. The man with the phone might be waiting for some other train, that's the reason he is not rushing towards the train that is currently at the station. The train might leave the station after some time and will go to some other place. It also might be possible that the train will be full and most of the people will not get any seats. If this happens, then they will have to wait for the next train to come.
Hello Roger, I carefully reviewed both the options and I think you should go with the option of stone flooring. It has some good features that make it a better choice in comparison with wooden flooring. According to the features of stone flooring, it is durable and has low maintenance. It is very stylish look and has innumerable options in colors and textures. On top of that it is easily available and low labor on laying it. On the other hand in wooden flooring also has good features such as being easily replaceable and a feeling of natural surroundings. But, it is prone to insects and tough on maintenance against ecology. So, I think we should opt for stone flooring. Hello Mrs. Roger, I came to know that you are suggesting carpet flooring. Yes, it has many good features like being soft and warm on the feet and it comes in multiple colors and designs. But, it is very hard to clean and shows a wear pattern and it is not suitable for allergy sufferers. I know you were suffering from several skin, pro from several skin problems. So, I think you should not opt for carpet flooring. So, I think you should go with stone flooring. Hello Roger how are you doing? First I really want to say, thank you, for offering me the position of, Vice President, with your esteemed organization. I greatly appreciate your efforts and time invested in evaluating my profile. While I believe in the mission of your organization and appreciate the challenging opportunity you offered. Please be informed, after careful consideration, I regret and I must decline your offer as my spouse is against the idea. Because we are going to be parents now, she is seven months pregnant and wants me to stay with her in these happy days, and even I want to stay with her because except me there is no one who can take care of her, 
not even my parents or her parents. But if you don't mind, I have an idea. I can take up the job once the baby is born and I will leave the place with my wife and baby and will go to settle there and take up the job. I also know that this is a great opportunity for me, but it is not more important than my wife and child. I hope you will understand my situation. Hello, Mrs. Roger. I want to discuss something with you. My friend Roger has recently started a company and he has offered me the job of vice president with a handsome pay package in his organization. Don't be mad at me. I know you are pregnant and want me to take care of you and stay with you because there is no one else who can take care of you. But think about the job once, it is really a great opportunity for me to do great things in life. And now we are going to have a baby, it is even great for that baby's future. I know it is impossible for you to come with me, that's the reason I am thinking about leaving you at my mother's house. Once the baby is born, I will come back and will take you with me because I'm thinking to be permanently settled there. Even I don't want to leave you alone but believe me, I don't have other options left. Nothing is more important than you, but this job is really necessary for me to boost our future. Hope you will understand my situation. I really need your support. Like they say never judge a person by his or her appearance wearing a good pair of clothes doesn't change you from being you. A person should only be judged by his or her talent and skills not by a set of clothes. A particular set of uniform is a primary thing because education is the reason behind the uniform or appreciation we get from the society, but in other fields like Navy, Army and in others, uniform is the most important factor because in those fields, it signifies discipline. Schools which are the base of education system should focus more on education than on clothes that students wear. Education beats the appearance and the youth. If you are educated, people will respect you everywhere, and if you are not that much educated and wears a good pair of clothes then the value of those clothes are nothing. The most beautiful thing about education, that no one can take it away from you. Life is all about living, learning, applying what you learn and learning from those results. In schools, kids are taught how to be members of society, and the rules by which to live in a crowd, to accept government, and to share life as a nation, to be patriotic and all that stuff. Schools should pay attention on students' education not on what they are wearing.
Hello, Daniel. What are you doing? You know, I went scuba diving, as you know how much I love it. But I saw some really strange creatures inside it. At first, I was shocked because I could not believe my eyes. The water was really very clean, but it was really dark inside the water. Still, some sea animals were visible. I saw two unknown creatures, they had a bulky body appearance. Well, they were not unknown. I have heard about them in movies. There were two sea dragons, they were blue in color and were really very big like a blue whale. They were similar to seahorses. The only difference was that the sea dragons are big and seahorses are small. They have a long snout, tail, and unique fin placement. There were even some small fish, but I don't know what type of fish they were. Both the sea dragons seem to be fighting with each other. There must be numerous dragons in the sea, which is quite very interesting.